So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is Saturday morning, kind of an overcast day here today. And uh, we did get a little bit of rain last night, not a whole bunch. And this morning I'm actually on my way to the big city of Pittsburgh. Now, uh, Pittsburgh's only about 35 or 40 minutes from where we live, but I very seldom go there. I really don't ever have any reason and or desire to go there for much, to tell you the truth. But this morning, uh, daughters Eva and Hannah participating in a uh, like a CrossFit competition and Melissa's already down there I just uh, left Hunter uh, at the house with someone there watching them there now so I'm gonna run down here for a couple hours see how this goes you know and kind of support them they both work very hard at the CrossFit thing along with Melissa as well and it should be fun maybe we'll get a little bit of footage down there we'll see how it goes and then when I get back this afternoon uh, we're going to work on the mini cabin a little bit. Uh, I did get a wall built the other day. I don't have it standing up, but we'll get back on that, and uh, we'll just see what happens. Oh, and something else will be coming up. You haven't seen over at uh, Neighbor Cliff's place in a while. If you remember, put that big fiberglass swimming pool in, and we did some work over there. Uh, cut a whole bunch of trees down. We got uh, dug some electric lines, and the pool's all installed. And they built a beautiful, I mean, it is sweet, like a pool house, really, really nice. Uh, but sometime in the next day or two, I'll show you that because we'll be over there kind of grading around everything, all that needs finished over there. I need to kind of get everything graded up and then they're gonna get a fence put in, a real nice fence, and then we'll bring some topsoil in and get the grass growing, but it's beautiful. I'm telling you, wait till you see this pool house, really, really nice. What else will we be doing? Doing some more firewooding. We're really hitting the firewood thing hard. Uh, we've got lots of great suggestions for Hunter's little firewood uh, venture. And when I say it's Hunter's firewood venture, we're all helping. Uh, you know, we're all doing a lot. Hunter will be in charge of bagging that firewood up. And uh, that'll be next year, though. And I was thinking I'm going to take a lot of that up by the house and stack it up there. But I might even uh, put it like an IBC totes. And then, you know, maybe next year I'll have a kiln. I don't know. I haven't even really thought much about that yet, but for drying lumber. But I was thinking if I get a kiln, put that wood in the baskets, I could actually dry firewood as well. And, uh, you know, the bulk firewood and the way we normally sell it, I'll just let it season naturally. But uh, for that stuff, you know, that premium, premium, super nice firewood, maybe we could even offer kiln dry. That way you could ship it or sell it retail, things like that. We'll see. I don't know. I'm just kind of talking out loud right now. But we have a lot of things going on and everything's going really, really well. Uh, and I, by the way, I appreciate all the support. We are we are quickly approaching the uh, elusive 100,000 subscriber mark, which I just can't believe. Uh, I was hoping to do that by the end of the year. I feel pretty confident now at this point we'll be able to do that. I don't know when it'll be. You know, things go up and down, up and down, but you know, the channel's had consistent growth from the start. And uh, that's really good, and I, I'm very thankful for all that. Also, uh, Paul Bunyan show's coming right up. Uh, that's the Gurney, Guernsey, Gurney, Guernsey County Fairgrounds in Ohio, October 4th, 5th, and 6th. I'm pretty sure those are the dates. First weekend in October. And Melissa and I will be there Friday afternoon for sure and all day Saturday and possibly all day Friday I'm not sure yet when we'll get there, but it'd be great to meet uh, some of you guys there uh, We've had a really really fun time meeting people we have like I said the other day in a video When I started this channel, you know, I thought it would just be I don't know what I'm saying one-sided You know where I just show videos of what we do on the property and, you know, I knew there'd be comments and stuff, but we have met so many nice people going to these different forestry shows at Buck and Stock, and uh, we would really like to do more of that. And I mentioned also the other day, that's, I never thought that was my thing. You know what I mean? I like to just, I mean, I like meeting people, but I like staying at home. I do. I like working around the property and those types of things. But uh, we've had this opportunity to kind of get out and about a little bit and meet people that watch the channel and they are just super nice people and they're just like us into the same types of things uh, I imagine most of them don't have a desire to drive to the city like I'm doing here this morning uh, same kind of people into the same things and we're having a ball we really are so we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing and we'll see how this all shakes out in the end 
But anyway, I've been rambling on long enough. Uh, once we get close to the city, I'll, I'll spin this camera around and kind of show you the city if you want to see that. I don't know. I'd rather see trees, but anyway, we'll see you in a bit. All right, we are approaching the big city. This is where I uh, start to get lost, really. And I've got navigation in the truck, but we'll see how it all shakes out here. Turn right onto exit 2B now. Exit 2B, or not 2B. That big building, uh, we always called it the steel building. Now it says UPMC. It's not too bad on a Saturday, no traffic. In one tenth of a mile, turn left onto East North Avenue. Turn left now. Huh. I'm in the wrong lane. See how that happens? <laughs> I'm horrible at this. Nobody will let you over, that's for sure. You just have to kind of go. Huh. This isn't what I had in mind. I guess this place isn't uh, right like downtown. I don't know. In one tenth of a mile, turn right onto Chestnut Street. Got the old brick streets here with the uh, trolley tracks on it. My dad actually uh, was born on the In north side of Pittsburgh. Mile, turn left onto PA Not far from north, here. And then keep left onto PA 28 North. Oh, I'm getting on 28, I guess. You see that sign there, share the road with the bicycle over there to the right? You, I don't know. You, you would have to be out of your mind to try to ride a bicycle down here. These are all like bike lanes and stuff. You see those green things? Pittsburgh's big on bike lanes, which I got nothing against people that like to ride a bike. I just think you're out of your mind if you'd ride one here. I can't, I can't even drive a pickup here. Oh, Lizzie's up there. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> okay. Hannah, braiding her hair. Hannah's partner, Emily, braiding her hair. That's, that's one of the, the competition. Who has the best braid? Okay, these are the 
CPA, competitors, the group. Here's Eva and Gabby. Okay. Sorry, guys. Let me get a portrait.
So this is uh, daughter Hannah and Emily, your partners. You want to tell us a little bit about what you just did in there? Oh. Actually, we waited about a half an hour because their faces are all red. Yeah, <laughs> we had some, the dumbbell off. some time to recover and Some clean time up. to recuperate. That was quite a workout. I know one thing, if I'm ever on a boat, I want one of you two rowing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you started out rowing. Yeah, I rowed first. And I had two 20-pound dumbbells, and I did four devil press, which are burpees, and then you shove the dumbbells up over your head, and then up and over a 20-inch box six times, and then... Holding the dumbbells. Holding the dumbbells. Yeah. Oh, but down here, there was some discrepancy. The first... Yeah, they're supposed oh, to be down here, right. but they were down here. And then re eight reverse lunges. And, and then bring we, the dumbbells up. Yeah, they were up here. And then you kept repeating that. We so switched. That, yeah, then you switched with your partner. For 10 minutes, right? Yeah. yeah. Eight would have been great. Eight minutes. It was, Ten was a little long. much harder than I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> it took a little bit to recover. Yeah. They did good. Yeah, we did the same thing. Even Gabby said on the Gabby. road. And Even we had, Gabby here. So you guys did the same one first this morning, right? Yeah, we had 10 pound dumbbells. So. And then we did a workout before that one. Oh, yeah. Which was the deadlifts. So you're going to be doing your third one then? Yeah. And then you're going to be, how many do you have done so far? We've done two, two as well. well. Two, okay. So we have two more. And so you, yours is coming up here in just a little bit. Yeah. Good deal. That's What's it? The snatches and wall balls. So I do 21, 15, 9 of snatches and wall balls, and then Gabby does 45 snatches and 45 wall balls. How Ooh. much does the uh, wall ball weigh? 10 pounds to 9 foot target, and the snatches are 45 pounds. You Good guys job. have all been doing fantastic. Yeah. Good job. Doing your best. Alright, we're trying to get hard. in here with a picture for yeah. the mom and Melissa. Just Hannah and everybody. Oh, okay. Well, I made it back to the house. And believe it or not, I used the correct lanes the entire trip from Pittsburgh back here to the house. And I'm pretty happy about that. But that was a lot of fun. I was really happy that I got to go down. Uh, Eva and Hannah and their partners, Emily and Gabby, did a fantastic job. It was very impressive how hard they work. And what I found most impressive, though, about that whole event that I was just at was all the support and the encouragement from everybody there that's watching people compete. Uh, you know, it didn't matter if somebody's in first place and been doing it for years or somebody that's been struggling at, you know, a certain thing. Everyone was cheering and applauding and, and, you know, helping everybody out and it's just great. I love that kind of stuff. And it was a really good day. I met some woodworkers down there who I think are going to be some new subscribers. I don't know if I went over that or not earlier on. I was trying to find a place to park and some guys like point me into a parking lot, you know, and I'm like, hey, I'll park here. And he's like, are you here for the woodworkers meeting? And I'm like no but that sounds pretty cool you know i said i'm here to watch my daughters in a crossfit thing and we got to talking for a minute about the youtube channel a couple other guys came i was telling about the sawmill and everything and they're like yeah just park here it'll be fine so they let me park in their parking lot shared some contact information so it's all good that's pretty neat when you think about it. i go down to the city and you know for a crossfit competition meet woodworkers 
Everybody's just out doing their thing, and I, I love that. You know what I mean? It's just all good stuff. But anyway, I think that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I know it's a little different than uh, you know what our other videos are normally about, but uh, we just make videos on what we do, and uh, one of the things that Melissa and the kids do is CrossFit, so that's why that video is. And all our videos are titled appropriately, so you know, like the title of this video will probably be CrossFit Competition my daughters are wicked strong how's that so anybody that's expecting a tractor or a firewood video would know that this video isn't about tractors and firewood but anyway that's it for today's video like I always say if you enjoy these videos please hit the like button click subscribe and share them with your friends thanks